Hello and welcome to a discussion on how to calculate cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold and then use cost of goods sold to prepare the income statement. After viewing this video you will be able to identify costs that are included in the cost of manufacturing products, compute the cost of goods manufactured, compute cost of goods sold, use the cost of goods sold to prepare the income statement, and describe how product costs move through the three inventory accounts. All manufacturing companies follow the same steps to produce their products. The manufacturing facility and product line are first established. Materials are purchased and stored in the direct materials warehouse. Direct materials that become part of the product are moved to the production line. Direct labor works on the production line to make the products. The three product costs are incurred while the product is made on the production line. Work in process occurs on the production line. Products that are finished are moved from the production line to the finished goods warehouse. Finished goods shipped to customers are reported on the income statement as cost of goods sold. Let's review the flow of product cost. The three product costs are incurred when direct materials are moved to the production line and direct labor works on the production line. You can view manufacturing overhead as the production line, which is where work in process occurs, because manufacturing overhead mostly consists of the cost of the facility and the management that supervises the process. The costs that are in work in process move into finished goods when production is complete. These same costs move to cost of goods sold when products are shipped to customers. It is important to notice that the three product costs move into work in process and the same cost move to finished goods and then move on to cost of goods sold. Direct materials, work in process, and finished goods are inventory accounts that are reported on the balance sheet. Direct materials are stored in the direct materials warehouse until they are moved to the production line to become part of the product. Work in process includes all three product costs incurred while the product is being made. Completed products are stored in the finished goods warehouse until they're sold to customers. Manufacturing companies must report the value of each of the three types of inventory on their balance sheet. The three product costs become inventory first. The three types of inventory are reported on the balance sheet. Finished goods inventory moves to cost of goods sold when the product is sold. At the end of the period, product costs are reported either as inventory or as cost of goods sold. Some of the costs are reported in each. The cost of goods manufactured is computed by simply adding up all the product cost incurred to make the product. Direct materials purchased are not used to make products until they are taken to the production line. Only materials used is included in cost of goods manufactured. Beginning direct materials plus purchases equals the total amount of goods the company has available to use. Subtracting the cost of materials left in the warehouse gives the cost of materials that were moved to the production line and used to make products. Add direct labor and all manufacturing over costs to get to the total manufacturing cost. Remember that manufacturing cost is just another way to say product cost. Add beginning work in process because the cost in work in process were the products that were finished first. Subtract ending work in process because these costs are not finished yet. Cost of goods manufactured is the cost of goods that were finished during the period. Cost of goods manufactured is used to compute the cost of goods sold. Start with the finished goods that are in the warehouse at the beginning of the period. Add the cost of goods that were made during the period. The first two added together will give you the total goods that could have been sold. Subtract what is left at the end of the period to get the amount that was sold during the period. Goods that are not in the warehouse are sold during the period. Cost of goods sold is subtracted from sales on the income statement to get gross profit. Period costs are reported as operating expenses. 
Next, we will quickly walk through an example of computing cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold. The company's costs are listed in the general ledger. Review this list quickly and note which costs are product cost and which are period cost. Only product cost and inventory balances are used to compute cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold. Period costs are not included. The first step is to compute direct materials used. Consider the change in inventory and the purchases this period to compute the amount of direct materials used during the period. The second step is to add direct labor cost. Direct labor either operates machines that make products or assemble the product by hand. The third step is to identify all the manufacturing overhead costs. The last step is to add beginning work in process that were finished first and subtract ending work in process that are not yet finished. The products available to sell at the beginning of the period are added to the products made during the period to get the total amount of goods that could have been sold. Subtract the goods that are left to get the cost of goods that were sold. Cost of goods sold, which includes all the product cost in products sold during the period, is reported on the income statement. Period costs are reported as operating expenses in the period incurred. It is important to remember that direct materials is reported on the balance sheet when purchased, and there is no direct labor or manufacturing overhead expenses reported separately on the income statement. All product costs are included in the one line item, Cost of Goods Sold. After viewing this video, you should be able to identify costs that are included in the total cost to manufacture products. You should be able to compute cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold and use cost of goods sold to prepare the income statement. You should also be able to describe how product costs move through the three inventory accounts. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. The practices you learn will give you additional examples of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the practice test to verify your understanding. Write the answers out and check your answers to the answers provided. Please go ahead and write the answers out. It will really help you get it. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.